Yo, what's up guys? Talman here, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a complete guide to a One Piece game. Yeah, this is going to be the ultimate guide to a One Piece game, guys. First C, second C, third C, all that. Before we get into the video, if you guys do this to my channel and want to see more content, guides, choices about the game, you guys already know what to do. Subscribe, guys, and turn on that bell. And before we get into it, this video is going to be having a huge giveaway, guys. I'm going to be giving away two Gear 5s. Yeah, two of you guys have a chance of winning a Gear 5, guys. If you don't know, Gear 5 is the strongest fruit in the game. Yeah, Gear 5 is a must. You're going to want Gear 5, guys. But yeah, I'll be giving one Gear 5 away in my Discord and one Gear 5 in the video right here. So for the Discord, all you got to do is go to the description and comments, click on the Discord link, join it. The rest of the giveaway going on in the huge giveaway channel. As you can see, the huge giveaway channel it says Gear 5. You must do these requirements, guys. You have to follow the Instagram and the Twitter. If you don't do that, you won't be able to win. And the second way, I'll be giving one Gear 5 away in the video right here. And for the video, all you gotta do is comment down hashtag Gear 5, and I'll pick a comment who is subscribed. As you can see, Angel here and Donut Bully, and they're subscribed, and you can tell because if you hover around here, right above it, it says publicly subscribed to you three days and Angel, been subscribed for over a year. That's crazy. Shout out to them. But yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed. But yeah, do both if you want to have a high chance of winning a Gear 5. And uh, good luck to everyone. And uh, for those who don't know yet, I ain't making a game called Anime Spirits. I will show a couple seats on the screen. If you guys want to get tested for it, see some more sneaks. Everything's in the Discord and again, in the description and comments below. But uh, other than that, guys, let's get straight into this video. All right, so first off, I want to go talk about everything you see here on the screen. For example, the menu, inventory, all these buttons here. I'll explain all this first. So if you open up your menu, you see a bunch of this stuff pops up. This right here is to hide your moveset, as you can see. And these are your stats. I'll explain later on how to uh, grind each one. Now this button right here is your crew. It's important to be in a crew because uh, look at these buffs that they give. A level 11 belly buff and a level 11 experience buff. I might be inviting people to my crew, maybe on some live streams and stuff. So if you guys want to join my crew, make sure you would turn on that bell and then hop in those live streams and maybe have a chance of uh, joining the crew. And then right here, this is the shop. It's not only just a Robux shop, it's also a gem shop. You can buy accessories here, race rerolls, and of course, you can spend Robux, buy raid canisters, EXP. They also have storage here. This is really important because there's a bunch of good races, good support styles, good titles, good fruit storage. There's a lot. For example, my support style right now is Gojo, right? And I want to get like a raid suit support style. So to do this, all you gotta do is click on the swap and if you swap it, it takes your current support style and puts it in there. As you can see, Gojo is now in my uh, free slot. Now I could just go grind for a raid suit if I wanted to. And I can just keep switching it back and forth with this Gojo and red suit. So yeah, these storages are really helpful guys. And of course, these are game passes right here. You can buy VIP, you can buy an infinite times to drop, all that stuff. But yeah, that's a shop right there. And this top thing right here, this is how you trade. So all you gotta do is type in the player's username, click send. I'll send them an invitation in their box right here. And keep in mind, a bunch of stuff is limited in trades. Like you can't trade for like a gear five scroll, some accessories. The only thing you can really trade that are good is fruits. But yeah, trades are very limited. I really only use it for like fruits, but yeah, that's the trade right there. And then for the Twitter, of course, this is where you redeem your codes. And this right here is what you use to spawn your boat. For example, buy the sail ship and you can just spawn it like that. And then these are the settings. You could adjust the blur. You could enable smooth texture. You could reduce and increase the background music volume. Turn off screen shake and stuff. You can also enable and turn off PVP. And yeah, just uh, look through your settings, adjust them how you want. And this right here, this is how you uh, hide your quest. So yeah, that's the full menu right there. Now for inventory, this is pretty simple. Accessories, fruits, and swords. You can also search up stuff like, for example, scroll, as you can see. This is the same thing as a fruit shop in the menu. Spinning, really important. Always do your daily spins, guys. You have a chance of getting times two XP, times two drop, times two belly. You can get a random fruit, 200 gems, and of course, even more daily spins. And then now, on the bottom right here, this is spin titles. This is also really important. These can give you some crazy buffs. If you scroll all the way down, these are the best ones right here. Clover gives you luck. I believe King of the Pirate. It probably gives like a fruit buff maybe. But yeah, either way, if you spin any of these, it'll let you know what the title does on the left right here. For example, for me, it says Clover. It says you are more lucky than others. And yeah, that's the spinning right there. Then the free road right here. 
It just gives you 10,000 belly. You must follow and put in your Twitter username. And then this one right here is your free fruit reset. You must uh, subscribe to uh, the boss on your YouTube and put your channel ID in here. And then for AFK training, this is where you go AFK your stats at. You go to this AFK room and your stats slowly go up. Then reroll hockey color, and this is of course just to reroll your hockey color. And this is to reroll your race. And last but not least, guys, your bounty. To increase your bounty, just keep killing uh, NPCs and bosses. It'll go up slowly. And for the bottom right, the server age, this is also really important. Because once you start farming like Sea Beast, World Bosses, it is really important to pay attention to the server age. Because every 20 minutes, CB spawn. Every 20 minutes, there's a chance a World Boss spawns. So yeah. So yeah, this is really important as well to keep track of what's going on. Yeah, that is uh, pretty much everything about the whole screen here. But now we can go talk about gameplay and stuff. So, let's go talk about Double Fruits first. So Double Fruits is one of the best abilities in the game. It's what I personally use to uh, grind and stuff. And I also say that too because there is a bunch of uh, sword users out there. Some people even are like fighting style users. But for me, I just made my Devil Fruit. But yeah, in order to get Devil Fruits guys, first way, you can find that around the map, under trees. Second way, every dungeon, it drops a fruit. The third way, you could spin for fruits, and I'll show you guys where to spin for fruits. For first C, you want to go pull out your island tracker and go head to uh, Logue Town. So let's go ahead there real quick. Alright, we're now at Logue Town, and look, if you go right this way, and talk to uh, the gem merchant right here, click yes, belly, you can spin up to, uh, I think, a hundred every time, yeah, check this out. Look, we're getting a bunch of fruits. And of course, the last way is through trades. You can trade for fruits, fruits that you want. For example, you want to go trade your soul fruit for a dragon fruit, you can do that. And if you're looking for people to trade fruits with, go join my server, guys. We have a trading chat in there, and uh, the Discord is in the description and comments below. And another thing to know about fruits is you can awaken them. There is a lot of fruits you can awaken. You can awaken fire, dragon, soul, rubber fruit, chopped fruit. There's like so much. And all right, now let's go talk about money and gems. So gems are important for many reasons. Awakening fruits, buying other stuff in game that require uh, gems, upgrading your weapons, rerolling race, buying accessories, and more. And for money, which is also known as belly in this game, is used to spend for fruits, buying uh, certain stuff as well in the game to like progress. But yeah, either way, money and gems are really important in this game, so you always want to go have to grind for them. And then now guys, let's go talk about stats. So if you open up your menu, click on stats. As you can see, I got max stats, 8,800 and everything. And I'm going to be talking about each side how to level them up. So for strength, you pretty much go to your uh, fighting style, right? And just spam attacks. Now let's go up slowly. Stamina, using attacks from your double fruit, fighting style, anything that requires stamina, it'll go up. And then for defense, going in water is the best way to grind it. Well, if you have a double fruit, of course. You need a double fruit if you want to go do the drowning in the ocean method. And then for sword, same thing. Go to your sword and just use attacks. And then gun, same thing as well. Go to your gun and just uh, use attacks as well. Like the Q move right here. And for hockey, all you gotta do, have your hockey turned on and just spam a bunch of moves too. And then fruit, of course. Go to your Delta Fruit and just spam attacks. So that's how you grind each one individually. Now, the best way to grind all of them at once is literally just doing quests. If you do quests, it levels up each one slowly. The last way is through doing the AFK training. And here, this is just an AFK place. The longer you stay, the more stats you get. But in my opinion, I suggest doing the quest one. Quest is the best way to grant stats. But yeah, that's pretty much how you uh, level up each stat individually in the best way. Now, let's go talk about accessories, guys. Accessories are really important. It buffs up your stats. As you can see, in my fruit, I got a 2,225 buff. In my defense, I got a 1,700 buff. And there is a bunch of good accessories in the game. And I'll be talking about how to get these accessories and the best ones. 
for each C when I get into the first C, second C, and third C topic. But yeah, those are the accessories for now. And now for the blacksmith, guys. So blacksmith is also really important. It really buffs up your weapons, such as devil fruits, swords, and all that. And I'll show you guys where the blacksmith is located. So pull out your Allen tracker. I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to get this Allen tracker, so don't worry. So as you can see right here, the blacksmith house. So let's go ahead there. All right, we're now with the blacksmith, guys. And look, I'm gonna go talk to him. I have my dragon fruit fully maxed, but I do not got my gun maxed nor my sword let's go do my sword so as you can see the blacksmith upgrades your uh, damage and whatever weapon you're using so right now i got my sword equipped cost a thousand gems to upgrade it to a 1.1 base damage and it's a 91 percent chance the upgrade will go through so so let's go upgrade it bam as you can see successful upgrade now if i want to upgrade it to a 1.2 i need a thousand five hundred gems and now it's a 50 percent chance let's go do this another upgrade another one this one failed, waste of 2,000 gems. One more, another failed one. And yeah, we failed all of them, guys, look at that. But yeah, this is really important, guys. So blacksmith, upgrade your weapons, do more damage. So yeah, you're gonna need gems for this. Now, okay, now for hockey, guys. There's many different types of hockeys. There's armament hockey, observation hockey, and conqueror's hockey. So to get armament hockey, you wanna to go to this really tall tower, and really it's gonna be on top of the tower, and he gives you hockey, but you get to like pay like money for it. Here's how the tower looks. And to get to the island, you wanna go ahead to a marine ford. Make sure that you're facing marine ford, and it's gonna be directly on the left of marine ford. Okay, so that's the first way to get the original armament hockey. And then to get observation hockey, you need 100 stats in your hockey. And then for Conqueror's Hockey, you go to the arena, and I believe he has like a 0.05% chance of dropping uh, Conqueror's Hockey. And yeah, all these hockeys are needed if you want to get stuff like King's Hockey, Full Body Hockey, and all that. And I won't be doing a hockey progression in this video. It's going to take too long, and there's so many steps. But yeah, if you want to go progress your hockey, guys, I posted many guides how to progress it. So go check those out. But now let's go talk about how to get the island tracker and the quest scrolls. So to get the island tracker, you want to go to First Sea and talk to this traveling merchant. He will sell you an island tracker for 50,000 belly, as you can see. And the quest scrolls, they are important because, look, if I talk to quest dive number one, click OK and take this, I can only take it once. You see that? I only have one. But if you go talk to Zuri Senpai, by like five of them. Yeah, I just got done buying a bunch of quest scrolls from them. And look, I'm gonna talk to the quest dummy now. Take some quest. And then you can take like five quests at a time. That's pretty crazy. And all right, we pretty much covered all the basic stuff now. Now we can go talk about each C, the best stuff you need to grant those C's and all that. All right, so for first C for beginner players, the best fruit would be the dragon fruit. And the best fighting style for first C would have to be black leg. And to get black leg, it's literally that starter island. You wanna go talk to Sanji right here. You can buy a black leg off him. You can also upgrade a black leg, tongue some again, but it'll cost you even more money. And for the best fruit in first C, that's gonna have to go to the Yoru. But if you don't have the Yoru, Griffin is also a pretty good one, but I think Yoru is a lot better. And to get Yoru, you wanna go ahead to the Teleport Island. So let's go ahead there real quick. And this right here, guys, the Mihawk Raid. This is where you have a chance of getting the Yoru. You can also buy Yoru as the Game Pass. And now, let's go talk about the best ways to grant money and gems in First Sea. So for Belly, you wanna go ahead to Ice Island, which is right this way. All right, once you guys are here, if you literally have the Dragon Fruit, this is the V2 version. For the V1, it's kind of similar. You know, just find the best place, like maybe here, for example, and just spam your attacks. And you can farm uh, Belly Quick that way. And not to grain gems, you want to go ahead to the Germa 66 Island, which is right this way. Then once you guys are here, it's gonna go ahead right this way. All the NPCs are in this area, so you can just spam all your moves here and grant some gems. 
I also forgot to mention at Jerma Island, if you go right this way, I think if you go up here, there is like four bosses, and all of them have a pretty cool raid suit. So this one has the blue raid suit. This one is the red raid suit. And this one right here is the pink raid suit. And the one all the way up here is the black raid suit. These four bosses are really important, guys. Because there is a chance for them to drop a raid canister. And if you get a raid canister, you have a support cell right there. And the raid canister you want to go for is the red raid suit. This is called the Sparking Red. And that's like the second best support cell in the game. The better support cell than the red is the Gojo. But yeah, support cells are really important in this game. You must get a support style. Sparking Red I suggest to get for beginners. And then once you're a bit stronger, try getting Gojo. And to get Gojo guys, it's a long process. So uh, I suggest you watch the video, how to get Gojo step by step. It's on my channel. But yeah, this is pretty much how you get uh, the Sparking Red and the best way to grind your gems. I also forgot to mention the best place to grind quest and get your stats up in First C is through Ice Island. And now, and now let's go talk about the best accessories for First C. And for that, let's go ahead to the Teleport Island. Let's go ahead there. And, and then once you get to here, you want to go ahead to this Thriller Bark Maze. Because this place, it has the best accessory drops, especially in First C. And the accessories you want to go look for are all the Brook ones. So you got the scarf, the hat, and the glasses. And yeah guys, that is pretty much the full First C guide. Now, let's go talk about Second C. Alright, we are now at second C guys, and to get to second C guys, you need 5,000 total stats, and you need to clear the law raid once. The law raid is, lo is located at the teleport island in first C, and yeah, once you guys are able to do that, you can go ahead to second C. But okay, now for second C guys, the best fruit for second C, especially for grinding, is the operation fruit. And the best fighting style for second C is the black leg Ifrit. And of course, the best sword would have to be Dual Yoru. I made videos on each one of those and how to get them. I can't explain all of them in this video because it's gonna take too long, but if you wanna go watch a whole guide to those, check them out on my channel. And the best place to grind for money and gems would have to be Udon Prison. So let's go ahead to Udon Prison, guys. All right, look, right now we have 886 in gems, right? Check this out, look how much I'm gonna have now. 886 to 937. Yeah, it's a good place to grind gems. So imagine you just AFK here overnight, just clicking this over and over again. You're gonna end up with like thousands of gems. And of course, Belly. It's also the best place for quests as well. So pretty much Udon Prison is the best island for everything. Gems, Belly, quest stats, and all that. And now for the accessories. First, C's accessories are still better. Second C accessories, they kind of suck compared to the first C ones. So if you want to go grind for accessories, if you haven't yet, just go back to first C and grind for those uh, Brook accessories. They're literally all better than the ones at second C. And of course, the best support style for second C would still be Sparking Red. And if you already get good the Gojo, the Gojo as well. And all right, now guys, for third C. And to get to 30 guys, it's a bunch of requirements. First off, you need 25,000 in stats. You need two Poneglyphs, you need to clear five Leo dungeons, five Alkiji raids, and kill five Sea Beast. Yeah, those are all stuff you need to get to 3rd So let's go ahead to 3rd now. All right, we're now at 30 guys. Now let's go talk about the best fruit. It would have to be Gas Awakening, since it does a lot of damage, and it's pretty good for grinding. And then the best fighting style would have to be Garp. Then the best sword, it would still have to be Dual Yoru. It has the better buff than the G Goku. And then for the best place to grind your gems, that would have to be this dungeon right here. Each clear guys gives you 3,000 gems. And the best place to grind money and stats, that would have to be Volcano Island. All right, we're now at Volcano Island, guys. And look, you wanna go ahead right this way. So talk to this quest NBC and just through all these quests right here. This one or the boss, it's up to you, but I like killing these better for more gems. But you pretty much just stay in this area right here and just spam your skills and look. 
I wasn't able to kill any because I have no buffs on, but that's pretty much how you do it. Just stand in the middle right there and just use your attacks. And now let's go talk about the best accessories for 3rd C, guys. And there is a bunch. It would have to range from the Pika Raid, Kraken, Shanks, and the Kaido. They all give some crazy accessories. If you're more of a sword main, I believe Shanks has some like crazy sword buff accessories. And if you're more of a fruit main, Kaido got some crazy fruit buff accessories. And if you're just looking for like a well-balanced kind of accessory, I'd go for Pika or Kraken. Pretty much they're all good accessories. It's up to you which one you want to go grind. I feel like it'd be easier to grind for the Pika Raid. Because for Kraken and Shanks, there's a chance they spawn every 20 minutes. And for Kaido, you need keys to summon them. And it's really time consuming to kill them. It's going to take a long time, but Pika Raid is probably the easiest one to go for. And for the best support slot for third seed, that had to be Gojo, of course. And yeah, guys, this video took a while to make. If you guys find this video helpful, do drop a like, guys. Subscribe. And yeah, again, guys, if you guys are wondering how to get the Operation Awakening, Garp, Dolyoru, all those best stuff that I listed, I didn't add them in the video because it take too long. And because I already made like separate videos for them already. So if you guys are looking for guides for them, just go on my channel and you'll find it there. And yeah, other than that guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys find it helpful. And uh, yeah, hope you have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.